Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Muckle Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blues, in which we're playing as the Heide Confederation using a special sub-mod called Old World Blues Blood and Wales, in addition with using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, Play of Peace Conferences, as well as its state transfer tool mod, but the height of people. We've been here for about 13,000 years, but who are we really? Who are we? We have four divisions here, and as you can see, we're school-seeking preschoolers. We have conscripted the preschoolers into our military, which I think is the greatest thing that we could do, probably for our people, for the people of Haida Gwai, though. The Haida people have long, have a long and interesting history. One of not only whalers and fishermen, but also of warriors and even the good old people who put people into involuntary work conditions. Warriors of the past shall not be forgotten. It would be better for everyone if we stuck to whaling. Uh, we actually have quite a bit of war support. I would like more stability. But Warriors of the Past, it doesn't really matter, let's go with this one though. A uh, Caps update, I've already played 3.2, very nice, and Operation Anchorage. Long time ago, our archipelago was forced out of self into stagnation. All that needed to happen was a mere World War III. Very nice. And we do a 580, oh, we're actually demobilizing. 580 manpower, but we're demobilizing, oh, that's not good. Staging grounds. Chinese occupation of Alaska became an unexpected blessing for Haida Gwai. Due to its geographic features and proximity to Alaska, the U.S. Navy and the USMC created a multitude of military bases all around the Isles, and soon after surge, the surge in the military population needed to support military installations began. Civilian populations stuck to supplying military bases, or new settlers created towns and homesteads all over the island. Well, we currently have two. That wouldn't be bad. You get, uh, you do get two arms workshops. All we can make, though, are weaponry, which would be very nice right now. Yeah, let's go with civilian arms workshop. Let's go with arm workshop for this time. After the M. No nukes hit us, but many of them hit our neighbors. Oh boy. I hope they hit our neighbors very hard. And we do actually start with a navy with five ships in total. Uh, yes, after the math of the Great War. After the Battle of Anchorage, Haida Gwai lost most of its strategic importance and only a fraction of the military garrison left, or was left. Because of this, when the atomic bombs started falling, not even one hit the archipelago. Soon after, refugees, though, from the mainland started pouring in. Everyone who reached Haida Gwai was allowed to stay, ooh, not bad, or with the help of the U.S. military or remnants. Haida people allowed only the fittest on their isles. Not bad, because we have novice whalers, the preschoolers here, as well as the whalers, which are also in combo with. I would like to change things around, but we already don't have enough, like, weaponry and stuff, more manpower. You know what, like, it probably gives a slight boost for now. It's not much, but eh, it is what it is. Bugmen from the sea. Bugmen came from the sea. They brought us guns and machinery. They joined our tribes and they joined our creed and gave their game for our needs. Very cool, very cool. Actually, we can only get 1.1 for every single day. For PP and National Spirit, we have Whaling Chiefs. Very cool. Passive Vic Capsin, come on like that. And the Bugmen's arrival, but we also have unassimilated refugees. Pretty normal. A few years back, in the middle of the night, a group of people in bug-looking armors came on the giant ship to our main isle. After we helped them come ashore, they told us their story. Three decades ago, uh, an organization they belonged to was destroyed by another more powerful one. After that, they wandered around the waste for a bit before finding a wreck of a tanker and in a decent condition. They spent many years patching it up, and after they were done, set sail for new, more friendly coasts. Ones where they would not be so hunted and killed on sight. After declarations of mutual goodwill, they proposed their service for the full Haydn citizenship. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Very nice. A division of division of power armor wearing bugmen joins our army. What? The bugmen brigade. Advanced power armor. Awesome. Repairing the bug ship. Ooh. Bugmen gifts. Ooh. Gauss rifles. Advanced power armor. Five gunships and one transport ship, whaling communities, and memories of the old world. Oh boy, fishermen. Wow. U.S. Marines, invasion defense, and amphibious invasion speed, anthropologists. Ooh. Let's start repairing the bug ship, though. With some duct tape and WD-40, we can turn this vessel into the grandest warship on the west coast. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, we only have two there, but that's fine. Because right now we got some of that. And, uh, let's get at least one thing of power armor going. We don't have the resources for it, but... We can make about 70 a year. That would make it 80 a year. That would be a little better. Or almost roughly 9. Cool. After we do the bug ship, though. And actually, we're, we only have two research slots, too, which kind of sucks, but it's alright. It's totally okay. After that, rally the people. 5% more recruitable population. Bugman tactics. Ooh. Wars are fought with men. Two arms. Special Forces Gear 1. We get an army. Okay. I like these Marines. Our defenders. Desert Rangers. Cool. Very cool. And we have about a week left for these guys. Not too shabby. Actually, with this division, are you... You're fully trained. Let's go and just train everyone else here as well. There you go. And do that too. And we should have technology done about right now. Combat language would be good. 
as well as what? Gliders? Or do we do some tribal tech? Yes. More passive caps income, less caps expensive, but less income in general. That's totally okay with us because technology speaking, or technologically speaking, oh, we have traders from Hawaii. If you want to about that, please go ahead. War support and manpower? I like the uh, political power first. We are not that advanced. Infantry, support, special forces are all very low. Power armor is non-existent. We have vehicles there. We have okay naval vessels, but other than that, we're pretty garbage everywhere else. And we're, of course, tribal. Anything else special down here? Honestly, no, not really. It's all pretty bad for us. But what type of special units do we have here as well? Rally the people? Very good. Daily pickle power, caps income and stability, Nixon, Hector, economy, let's see, anything else here? Anything else new, unique and different? Not really. And Quentin Greed, we are the supporters of the people faction here, so that's not too bad. But let's go ahead and grab Bugman Tactics. One of the Bugmen told us he would be willing to share his knowledge on military tactics with us. Sounds like a pretty good idea. Ah, look at that. Hayden Militia. Better mobilization speed and get to 5%. That's actually really strong. Do we have any research advisors? Military theorists? Bugman scientist? George? Okay, Brennan Oswald. And what else do we have for army? Chief of the army. I would like to make sure that we're producing more stuff. Attack and defense is not too bad. Well, since we're here and we're pretty early on. Um, stability, slightly more political power. I, I always like that. More caps, too. How many caps are we making right now? 21? Oh, nationwide. We can close that one out. That doesn't really matter to me too much. Um, oh, oh, we have such a new two. Hunt some beluga whales. We get some caps. 50, you get some caps. And division attack for two months. Hunt down a gray whale. We need more than three civvies. Get 200 caps. And then down here, you get 300 caps and more weekly manpower for about 245 days. Not bad. That's pretty cool. Gorilla training, let's do Bugman Gifts. Bugman offered us all the equipment stored on the bug ship. We will use it as well. Awesome. Oh, we can't make any more. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, that's alright, though. Uh, what do we want to do here? We probably want to go down here. Woke up to army. It doesn't help us out, honestly, that much. But I'd rather take it than not have it. And then I think I'm just going to go and grab one of these cultural advisors. Personal community, 5% and 0.1 is okay. Which is really not bad. But Nixon's better because we get the same thing. But you also get, was it more stability or more caps? Which one was it? You get more caps, so that's pretty nice. Combat language is pretty good. Let's grab some decryption. That'd be very nice. So after this one, we'll do veteran whalers. Uh, some memories of the old world, why not? Even though the old world is no more, memory of it still lives in descendants of the refugees and settlers who came in the isles just after the apocalypse. For years, they tried to make our little archipelago as similar to the lands of old as possible. And they did a good job doing so. Anyway, we're not leaving our villages and settlers as our subjects. Or, we're not leaving our villagers, villages, and settlers as our subjects, not the other way around. Oh, another division! Nice. Sorry, I had to sit down my water bottle. Toothless Radnor. Well, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Oh, no inspiration, why not? Oh, and there goes Linus doing his Linus little thingy. And Nixon, thank you very much. Now we get 1.27. Not bad, and slightly, slightly, slightly of some more money. Not much, not much. Um, I'm not really sure where to send you guys. I, I feel like we'll have to navally invade somewhere here eventually. But I guess we'll see what happens once we get this one done. Technology will be done in about five days, so then we'll grab some more encryption, which will be very, very nice. Very, very good. And after this one, we will do what? U.S. Marines, laborers? I like that. Oh, raiders on our coastlines. Oh, boy. Previously, raids came in frequently. They used to be carried out by small groups, usually in the night. The ships landed in isolated stretches of the coastline, never our villages or our towns. All that has changed recently. Coordinated raid groups have attacked our villages and towns, doing unimaginable destruction before we could react. In response, militias have mobilized and are ready to defend our islands. Only time will tell how well they do. Resist and veteran whalers. Now that we have high-tech weapons, we can start preparing for war. Because of that, some of the veteran whalers, led by War Chief Kaya Ong, who fought pirates on land in the seas for years, Decided to join our army. And there go the matrons. Very nice. And about five days left. Not bad. We actually have... Oh, that's not bad. And do have a cup of coffee here in our nice, cold, icy region up north. So, do we want camps or towns? After the Great War, the Haida Confederation was born. Haida tribe-led state, but with numerous settler representatives. Who was done non haida force? Descendants of the soldiers? Or descendants of the settlers? Well, mm, we can usually get at least up to 80% here. That's not too bad. Uh, war support, not always, we cannot always get more war support, so I kind of want to get more war support, actually, for now. Especially if we go to war, like, eventually, that's going to be lowered anyway, so we'll do that one. After veteran whalers, I would do the Bug Chief. Leader of the Bugmen offered his services as a military leader and made it clear he won't tolerate no. We get the Bug Chief. I love the Bug Chief. How, oh, organized military? Yes. Or organized society? Yes. Construction speed? More piercing? Uh, what are these guys? Oh, more daily PP. I love the PP. Infrastructure standardization? Yes, please. We love the standardization. 
1.27, not bad. Getting more than enough caps right now, too. We could begin a scavenging program. We could. That costs civvies, though. How many civvies do we have? Do we have two, right? That really isn't very much. Oh, smokestacks in the morning mist. A bleak sight greeted the survivors of the night of blood. Corpses littered the villages and the beaches as far as I could see. Many defiled and cut to pieces. The survivors could do nothing but grieve for the loved ones. Grief and hope that the raiders don't return. We will rebuild. Oh, boy. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's not good. Oh, boy. How dare you. Oh, that's going to not be easy to take him out, but okay. Well, since we do have five army XP now, veteran whalers, struggle, scout kits are nice. I'm going to make these guys a little thicker to begin with. It seems like we're going to need those guys. Special forces, all right. They're both 10 combat width. Not terrible. I'll just throw them all together for now. And since we got that, uh, we can do that. I'm not sure what we're going to do with, well, with what we're going to do with land doctrine just yet. So we'll wait. But the bug chief, and I would like to strike the pirates. Broken Coast Reign of Terror ends today. There's a new player in Old Columbia. Grants a high confederation claim and a war goal for the Broken Coast Court. How many divisions do they have? I definitely don't want to be fighting them if we don't have enough uh, uh, divisions. They have up to 11, which isn't bad. Strike the pirates. Ooh, let's get some more daily army XP then. Conventional warfare. <sighs> if we're using power armor, I'd probably want to go refined warfare then. We'll go with that one because I want to get more daily army XP no matter what. Oh, we have another light cruiser. Oh, two more. Nice. Good, 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 good. Those will come in handy. These guys aren't very good, but whatever. That's fine. The Bug Chief. Ooh, man. That's not going to be easy, is it? How many guns do we not have? Well, actually, we have a, a, quite a good amount of power armor. We're not making any military. Oh. Oh. Well, that's not good. Go ahead and repair all this stuff, then. But you first. The Bug Chief. Cool. Strike the pirates. Yes, please. We get a war goal on them. Hopefully, that does not expire. But you never know. We're going to get some money, more money, too. Our defenders? Oh, we get, we get some new... Oh, add defense skill, too. Alright, walk... Whaling communities might not be too bad, either. U.S. Marines? Fishermen? Not bad. Uh, builders. I like that one, actually. We could probably use that one right now. Builders. If you don't want to live in a shanty, you need a skilled worker to build your house. That's why professional builders are in such good shape on our isles. By the old world standards, they would be called architects and construction engineers, but they seem to like their post-apocalyptic names. It's much better than shack assembler of Hutmaker. Cool. And my apologies. I was hit something on my lap. My, uh, not my lap. My uh, thing here. So, uh, take it. Make sure that we don't get invaded there. So, send the preschoolers back to Gramshar. They could probably go learn a little bit first. Uh, and actually, just in case, I got, I'm glad we got more divisions, but whalers, you kind of hang out in the capital. They might na just literally naval invade us. So, I don't know how strong these guys are. They're probably pretty darn strong. Uh, how big is an A? Oh, boy, that's not good. Uh, I don't know if we can actually do well here. Gliders are nice. Barrage balloons. One-time use, pretty much. Can we actually go here yet? No, we cannot, which sucks. So, uh, let's get some work as needed, then. Um, it's not looking good, man. We're breaking the monster. Liberating the north. Oh, we get cords in all these areas. That's not bad. Struggles of the Whistlers. Oh, okay. Guerrilla training. Yeah, those those ships that they have could probably kill us off pretty easily. Laborers. Infrastructure construction. Oh, we do get another research slot. That's pretty good. Merge our Nash or settlement-related ideas into a much more powerful one. Okay, okay. Um, guerrilla training, our defenders, uh, deliberate the south. Let's do whaling communities. Whaling, killing whales, was a major part of our culture for thousands of years. One whale hunt could provide the whole tribe with meat for months, or even years, but before we kill a whale, we need to find it. Yeah, that's probably a good idea to do that, to find it. But let's get more arms workshops, so that'll help us out with guns immediately, which is good. Uh, planes would also be very good as well, even though we don't have enough resources. And travel scout kits, we might use them for now, that's okay to use, I guess. Um... It's just not going to be looking very good here. What if we try to bait these guys in? Oh, we do have a few planes we could throw on here. Oh, we do have the gun... Oh. Oh, we have a gunship. And a transport. Would this be possible to just pair... We only have one division to pair drop, though. And it won't be enough. Because then we can get raided by the enemy ship as well. Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Just in case. I'm going to send you guys... Over here as well, just in case. I want them to, like, waste their divisions on us. So, we'll see what happens. They'll probably naval invade us. They probably will. Um, it's probably a really bad idea. But we can try. You know, you never know. 
They have up. They have too many ships for us to really do anything about. But oh, is that good? But we'll be led by the bug chief, Spee. He's Spee. And let's go inspirational. And I went rooted, so we can get to a savage leader. Oh, we're paint. Oh, we might do paint train though. Ooh, for now, at the very least, more attacking defensive core territory. Eh, tank attack, division attack. Eh, a beloved leader. Uh, we could probably do that. I never use that one, so let's let's use that one. Pain train. Uh, we could do that. It doesn't really matter. I mean, the unit leader traits only give you half the benefit, anyways. More max intrusion might be really, really good for everybody. Uh, I want savage leader. I just don't know yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna save it. Screw it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it. Let him attack us. All right, so we're gonna lose some energy. Yeah, they've lost three guys. That's good so far. Hopefully, we'll give our guys some time to heal up and learn. As we're going to get more political power and get some scavenging efforts. Come on, guys. Come attack us. Okay, if they don't want to attack, we'll do that too. The Alamo chapter. All right. And since we have more PP, actually, we could have... Eh, we can't do that one yet. That's fine. Uh, volunteer Outside volunteers. Bring in civilization. Bugman tactics. That's not bad. Not bad. More division attack, defense, and attrition. That's not bad either. Over here, spy master. Attack and defense is usually pretty good to grab. I'll probably go with that one. Um, head physician. Ah, screw it. We'll get some more PP for now. 1.26 is not bad. I really want to bait him into attacking us. We might have to literally just land the power arm behind him, maybe? Come on, guys. Please attack us. Why are they not attacking us? Can we actually attack them? Maybe we can. Oh, oh hold on. No, never mind. They're going to attack us. I really just want to lower the manpower as much as possible. Umbra. Very good. Very, very good. We might actually want to get as many planes as possible as well, like lighters and such, once we get these areas done, too. Um, but getting an army speed like this is going to be okay for us. And we have a core on us anyways, and hopefully we get some more. Another military factory so we can start making some serious amounts of planes. That'd be very good. You guys, just merge together. The whale seeking. Before whales can be killed, they must be found. So how are we to seek them? We use old planes to seek them from the skies? I like that. You got P-51 Mustangs. The more of us there is, the more of them we can find. Ooh, Wailing Navy. I, I want those Mustangs. But if we have a Navy, that doesn't guarantee... That we need a capital ship to fight the Broken Coast Navy. Ooh. And this cup of coffee is very good, too, but... Uh, numbers. I want those planes, but... I'm going to risk this. Let's see. What do we get in terms of a Navy? Do we get any more capital ships? Capital ships? Ah, they're only destroyers. Ah, I should have went the Mustangs. I should have went the Mustangs. Oh, well. Blubber. Not bad. Uh, Spermacet. Okay, factory output, income, whale meat, and baleen. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's do liberating the north, because it's 30 days. Northern subjects of the pirates see us as the liberators, and welcome us accordingly. So that way, we don't have to deal with resistance. Actually, speaking of resistance, we have none here, too, so that's good. Yeah, let them waste their guys. We've lost how many? 7 versus 83. It's not that great, but that's all right. And let's give our toothless Radnor some, quite some good experience, which is very awesome. I'm a little surprised they're not trying to attack us yet. I really don't want to be invaded. I really do not. But if we're going to, let's set it up. Alright, let's go somewhere really, like, not too difficult to get to. Like, up here. So, do that. We should be able to land. As long as we can land, we'll probably do okay. But I do want to take out Mores, Mores first up here. And just weaken them for now. We will need a little bit more energy, though. Hmm. Uh, distress outsiders probably go to... Yeah, distress outsiders... Uh, monthly population, war support, non-core manpower. Liberate the North is nice. Resource. Oh, we could do that one though, but. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get some more attack and defense, right? Yeah, let's do that one. That was pretty good. And it's liberating the South. Slaves of the pirates kill their masters and join our armies everywhere we go. Good. And we get more political power and war support, which is nice. They're starting to look like they're a little bit weak. Give them a little bit more time and they'll get. In, and they'll keep attacking. And he's learning how to become a mountaineer and winter specialist. Oh. Are they going to break us, maybe? I hope not. Actually, how much... We have more than a power... Yeah, we do have more than a power armor. We definitely need a few more we things weaponry, though. If that's the case... Make these guys even thicker, maybe? Just in case. And now we're really out of weaponry. Oh, boy. There you go. Work is needed. Good. Let's go have some more construction speed. And after that, we'll do U.S. Marines. Most of the U.S. soldiers left on, Hi on Haida Gwaii after the Alaskan reclamation was over belonged to the USMC. Taking under consideration our geographic position, we made sure that their training and knowledge won't die with them. Awesome. I love the Bugmen. 
Even these infantry looking pretty bad, but that's just because we put some more soldiers in here. So let them waste their lives on us. That'd be good. And we still don't have enough planes, really. I mean, I'd love to get to up to 100. Actually, we, since, but we, just because we have the tech doesn't mean that we can actually research them. Hold on. Cool. Can we actually... Ah, we can't research them. That sucks. All right, so we got a lot of this stuff here. That's not bad. Um, resources, we could really use more energy. Especially once we get our ships going, that's not good. Anything over here? Not really. We can build stuff a little bit faster first. Um, outsider auxiliaries would be bad. Bugman tactics. Um, that that's just really good. Even though it's only 10% just five Wargo's times. Max construction is not bad. Buses helps out anywhere, so we'll do that one. After that, we'll do manufacturers, guerrilla training. Let's do our defenders. Even though offense is the best defense, our generals should be able to hold their positions against superior foes for as long as they want. Improves the defense skill? We might as well, right? We got two days left. Um, definitely, that one's really good to do. Oh, laborers. Oh, yeah, that'd be really good to do as well. But, let's keep going down to get some integrated tribe elders. More PP. Yes, please. We're missing energy. Ooh. Well, can you guys go? Go when you can. You guys deploy. I want you to be very careful and do not engage. Or just like, you know. There you go. Oh, uh oh. Hello! Enemy ships are there too. Oh. Hey, we made it. We made it, guys. We made it. Sinew 5 over there as well. And we're going to begin spreading. Oh. Alright. We're going to begin spreading out like crazy now. They might still enable invade us. I mean, there's no guarantee that they won't, but still. You guys go right there. You guys head up north. And you guys go right there as well. Nice. Very nice. I'll put, yeah, get some more output. Kill them and crush them. Even the those divisions are doing quite well. Go there, go there, go there, go there. Very nice. Ah, uh, the Bugman. We love the Bugman. Go, go, go. Their divisions all over the place. That's fine. Let's go. I need one of you guys to get over there right now. Oh, there's divisions there. Well then. What a shame. There you go. Not bad. They raid our coast. I raid their coast. It's a fair trade. And as long as they can't move, I mean, they'll die anyways. And we killed them off yet? Almost. Almost. Get the preschoolers. Hey, a light cruiser. Just in time. Uh, we've lost 32 versus 700. I mean, that's pretty darn nice. I wouldn't say I say so myself. I head on all the way down here so we can have everything, and we're actually making nothing else. Okay. Hmm. All right. Then. Cool. And uh, leaving this all to chance is not very good and all, but still. I guess not. Oh, there you go. Nice. Keep going, guys. You're doing great. You're doing fantabulous. Um, our defenders, conscripts, economic experts. Ooh, what do we want here, man? I don't know. I really don't know. Honest speaker, non core manpower, war support. Well, this would be pretty darn good, but head physician, more war support, monthly population. I'm gonna blaze the fan because we could use that war support immediately, right? Sort of. Sort of. We're doing quite well. Are, are, are the Broken Coast divisions really not that good at all or something? If you guys want to head on over here too, that'd be great. Alright, yep, and we're gonna do guerrilla tactics. No, laborers. Unskilled manual laborers and workers. Numerous mob living in the inland shanties. They should, they usually aren't problematic, and when they are, we show them why they should be docile and why they are so docile before. They have memory of a goldfish, too. More infrastructure construction speed, plus 20%, and Kong gets three more infrastructure, which is great. And you guys all should do this. There you go. Go right on ahead. And I don't want to lose this division. I really do not. Right, Siege Hidden Valley. I'm going to keep you guys here. I, I don't. I just don't trust these people. They might. They might still literally invade us. So, as best be safe and sorry. So, we don't have the power armor up here yet either. So, so we've lost about 67 versus a thousand. That ain't too bad, especially if they're very, very weak. We of course could use more infantry equipment, but that's okay. Patrick is very nice. We might naval invade. Send the preschoolers. Send them. 
There we go. Cool. Not bad. Pretty good so far. Pretty darn good. Military spending bonuses. We could use extra manpower probably. So let's go and spend that money then. Oh, there goes a warren. Yeah, more weekly manpower. I like that a lot. Yeah, at this point, they're, they can't really put too much of a defense up. Which is actually very nice. Actually, can we can we jump actually from here? And jump on the capital, like all the way down here to North Coover? Oh, they're getting raided too. That's kind of nice. That would be kind of cool if you guys could do that. But it doesn't look like you are. Okay. Well, I guess we just give it time then, because it looks like we will have these guys done very soon. Can the preschoolers navally invade? Hopefully. That's what we teach them in school. But, oh, we need all the following, huh? Oh, that sucks. Fishermen? Sure, we'll do some fishermen. Settlers don't like us killing whales. They find them too big and scary. Good, more for us, and there's enough fish in this ocean for all of us. Very nice. All right, and you guys are heading in. You guys head on down there, too. Awesome, awesome. Now, it's kind of sucky down here for attrition and such, but whatever. You guys, would you like to come on back home? Come back on back home, guys. <sighs> I love sending preschoolers to war. All right. Not bad, not bad. Oh, and the preschoolers are under attack. Oh, no. Please go in, guys. Please go in. There is no stopping on this crazy train. Oh, boy. We do have more PP now, though. Uh, we could probably raise this up. Find militias eventually. Uh, ship stuff, fly stuff, ferry captain. You know what? Since we're making equipment anyways, let's actually get this one pretty early. Nice. More PP is more better. Resistance target goes down. That'd be very good, but we don't really need that right now. Factory bomb vulnerability. Uh, what is this one? Ooh, less research speed, more defense. We need warrior training. Static anti-air. Oh, I'll just go and grab Deception Tactics, because that one, while it's not super great, it'll still work okay for us. Hey, you want to die? Don't attack our preschoolers! Cool, alright. So, you're already over there. I'm quite happy that, uh, we haven't lost any divisions yet. It feels very unusual to say that, but that's okay. Alright, you guys over there? Fishermen? Nice. And manufacturers. With the U.S. Army came factories, and with factories foremen. After the war, with all factory owners presumably dead, they took over establishments they managed and brand, branded them to produce things useful and sought after in post-apocalypse. Now their descendants are some of the wealthiest and most influential people on the Haida Gwai. Our own 1%, not as 1% of us, but 1% which belongs to us, and they better remember this. War cap, nice. And we get, look what else did we get? Kung, awesome. Alright, let's see if we can go. Local workspace is very good, and grab some more construction speed. Another light cruiser? Yes, please. Can we go? Oh, we don't have airspeed. Oh, oh, shnikes. Well, we got him. Alright, you just kind of hang out there, because this is going to take a while to get all the way down here. That's okay. After manufacturers, anthropologists. Even though anthropologists had to rebrand in the post-apocalyptic world, their books and research papers stayed with us. And we found them very interesting. Better resistance to case speed, more compliance to peak growth, more research speed. What's not to love? What is just not to love? You guys, how about y'all come from here and invade right there? That could help us move a little bit more quickly through here. As we might be getting attacked in North Coover, and if I move from that position, we might lose a lot of guys. But we're not suffering any attrition, right? Um, hang dogs. Oh, we should... Wait, oh. Maybe here for now? I don't know, maybe. We'll see what happens. These guys are still doing fairly okay, so I'm not super worried about it yet. Uh, you guys headed down there. Manufacturers are nice. Anthropologists, thank you. Ah, if you want to read about this again, please go ahead. Let's get some more peepee. -pee. We love the peepee. -pee. Uh, Chief of the Air Force, why not? We can do that one too. Not bad. Not too bad, actually. Alright, keep going up. All them VPs, that'd be very good. And we have made it with the preschoolers. As long as you're holding the preschoolers' arms, they'll be okay. And we'll be there probably next. There you go. I'd like to get up there, but it might take a while to get to. Could we actually just invade and just... I mean, the guys are moving down anyways. They're doing well. It just needs a little bit more time. So after anthropologists, descendants of the settlers. Settlers peacefully live with us for centuries, separated but equal. But new always replaces the old. From now on, all people of Haida Gawai are Haidan citizens. New dawn arises, this time in the west. We get a research slot. And much more powerful single idea. Very good. 
I think I like coffee too much. Head physician, I like the head physician one. More population to work with. Very nice. I thought I told someone here to work with us, so whatever. Go, go, go. What, they don't want to check my power armor division? What's wrong with them? What the heck is wrong with them? Uh, most of these divisions aren't actually doing anything down here. Uh, actually, get rid of that. There you go. Cool, head on back over here. We need you right now on the line. Um, if we can go to their next, would be pretty darn good. Tanta Lewis's pain? Not bad. I wonder if we could just take you guys and beat them up. I don't. I don't. I don't want you to even kill them. Just, just beat them up. That's literally all I want you to do. Okay, we got who I get. Let's get some more worship this time. Because now we're at 100%. Very nice, very nice. Cool. Okay, let's go. And after that, let's grab some output. Oh, construction speed plus 10%, but factory output is pretty useful, especially when we need more guns right now. Oh, and we need a lot of guns. Got you guys heading down here good as well. Very, very good. Keep going. Do we actually beat it, move them around? Not yet, not yet. They're still giving us a little bit of a struggle, and that's okay. Oh, you guys are... Don't need to do that then. Okay. Let's have you guys come all the way down to here, actually. Is that shit? Oh, can we not do that? Oh, yeah, I think we can. Cool. Ah, another research slot. Guerrilla training. Staging some war games in the mountains should give our army at least a bit of battle experience. And we have a whole mighty three research slots. I'll be honest, I'm feeling a little bit behind here, so. Especially in terms of research, at least. Go for the capital and beat the crap out of them. Oh, well, I guess he's level four now. That's not too bad. And level four, skill four on supply consumption. So that's pretty good, too. Oh, we left. Hopefully we don't die. And we're almost there. It's just that shit. Nice. Head on down here, too. Let the preschoolers go up to Earl's Co. And we're almost down there. So close. Race down this way. Uh, oh. Yeah, you guys can go there, there, and there. Maybe there, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, more dockyards. Nice. Longboats. Lots and lots of longboats. The storage are cool and all, but longboats are where it's at. Hey, we finally got them, my friends. I know that took a while, but it is what it is. And we've got them. Suck on that one. You mongrels. You raiders. You train now. Alright. Follows the apocalypse. If you like to read about them, please go ahead. We're pretty forgiving for a lot of people, so... Let them come in. That's fine. I don't really care. And then br breaking the monster. Oh, look! Pirates disappeared! I wonder where they went! But I hope that... To heck. They went to heck. More a lot more political power in war sport. Wow, okay. I didn't realize that. Game core in North Coover. Raising the pirate cove. Yar. Yar, we raid the coves. Yar. More yar. So who's next? Actually, that was really cool. So I think now, because the preschoolers did so well, we can probably upgrade them. Uh, to whalers. And you guys... Well, we'll see about you guys. Uh, in the meantime, we're gonna upgrade this at least one more time as well to get some more infantry. Awesome! Oh, look at all that manpower. Not bad. Not too bad. All right, NCR clear one of the Veil Bandits. Well, NCR is very uh, aggressive. Only goes to Max and Chapter, but breaking the monster. Um, war propaganda is not bad. We already have a hundred percent though, so oh, we can restore the bug ship. Super heavy holes. Is the bug ship is repaired and ready for battle? Oh yeah, let's do that one. And we get some more money here too. I like I like this. I like the little flavor that this mod has. I think it's quite interesting. Um, let's get to. Uh, actually, we don't have to wait. I'll do both of these. Get a little bit more PP, and then we can do that too. Oh, we definitely need more guns though. There you go. More stability, please. Thank you very much. Oh, battle for Hoover Dam already. Nice, nice, nice. Isolated miners. Oh, the dredgers. Yeah, whist struggle the whistlers. Uh, which one is this one? Is this a whistlers? Okay, how strong are the whistlers? We could probably beat the crap out of them, right? A thousand, up to nine divisions. Yeah, we can probably beat the snot out of them. Uh, let's go and grab some more output. After that, resistors. Uh, let's grab some smoke signals. Oh, raising the pirate cove. We must destroy this layer of piracy, preferably along with pirates. Peace and prosperity will come. We lose 4,000 manpower, but we get 20 more percent stability. Wow. That's just a lot of free stability. Struggle the whistlers. Congratulations, you're being rescued from Camlo and his raiders. Please, do not resist. Please do not. It'd be best for everyone if you just do not resist. Well, I'll get some logistic companies eventually, but nice. Not bad. 
By making these guys bigger, I definitely want to make these guys. Oh, we can't edit these. Uh, we can't edit the templates. Nah. Old world wall holds, which makes perfect sense. Very cool. Go and train if we need it. That's fine. That is totally fine with us. We have so much PP now. Mm, damage garrisons go down. Uh, max planning, 5%. Recon. I almost never use that one. We might use that one here. But for now, to Jinski, what are we going to use? Airbase, infrastructure, power armor. Ah, I don't know if we're going to get more power armor, though. That's a problem here. Uh, more civvies would be nice, actually. So, go do more civvies. Why not? Circle the whistlers. I said miners. Nomadic technological knowledge. Oh, guess the. Ooh. Flaws of the monarchy. Isolated miners. Don't they see that isolation isn't good for them? We will show them why. Good. Actually, we'll, let's go here. I don't know how much more free cores we're going to get, but look at this. The New Dawn. That looks really awesome. Really, really awesome. Oh, let's make up more civvies, too. I like civvies. Civvies are nice. Now, I'll, I'll fix up all of this infrastructure stuff later on. So, we should just be able to go to war pretty darn easily. That's, yeah, that's fine. Clay working is good, and we're going to grab some of organized agriculture. The research slots? Not bad. We need a few more of this, and we need more of that, but overall... I think we're doing relatively okay. In the meantime, you guys do that, you guys stop doing that, and both of you guys do that. And repair if you need to, because we are about to go in right now. And we should do relatively okay. Pathfinder, goodbye. Oh, well, maybe. Let's we'll see what happens. Good. And circle, and circle, and circle. And we're almost there, almost there. Can we get in? Can we get in? I should probably be focusing on other states as well. Ah, we got him. Nice. It's a little bit of a struggle, but that's a struggle worth fighting for. Cool. Followed up with uh, New Old Frontier. Bellingham was once the most northeastern city in the USA. Now it would be the most southernmost of one in our new empire. Yay. Pretty good. We're definitely struggling down here, but that's okay. Sometimes we need to struggle. We need to focus on our land auction, too. So, uh, when did the Bugmen take over? Refurbish. Ooh! Would you look at that thing? This thing is a, quite the butte. Anything here? No, I really doubt it. Oh, that's not too bad to get, actually. Nope. Any armor? Nope. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Literally nothing else we could throw on there. That's not great. <laughs> Alright, well, since you guys are here, I'll pull them out anyways. Cool, can't win everywhere, obviously, but whatever. Oh, boy. Yeah, guys, why are you... Why are you this dumb? Just cut them off from the capital. We've lost how many? 108? Ah, that's not terrible. Organized agriculture is nice. Go and grab some more, perhaps. That'd be good for more manpower. And the next focus we'll do would be Flaws of the Monarchy. Right to rule by birth, no thanks. But by force, on the other hand, that would be very, very good for us. And we're struggling here too, which makes sense. Go up there. If you really want to get them killed off, you're there. Do that. Cool, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. And not too bad. Smoke signals are very good. Grab some decryption. And what else? I'd like to do this stuff. Uh, get some more man the manpower. That'd be good. War propaganda. Let's go do that one too anyway, since we're kind of low. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Equipment sturdy. We're steady. Good. Uh, construction speed. A permanent 20% decrease in corn cost. We'll do that eventually. Communal projects will be very nice, though. Very nice, very nice, very nice. These guys are cutting themselves all off. It is very, 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 very good. Whistler should be ours somewhat soon-ish. Hopefully. Hopefully. Alright. Well, we got Whistler, but it doesn't mean too much now, I guess. Especially if they're not going to capitulate. Um, wow, we got to go all the way up to Hickson. Wow. That's kind of extreme, I'd say, but whatever. I guess it's time to do our more uh, focuses. Wasteland Warfare? Bellingham is our toughest opponent so far. Even tougher than Pirates of the Broken Coast. We must come up with some new and clever tactics in order to defeat them. Nice. Oh, oh there we go. Nice, Whistler's gone. That was pretty, uh, not easy. Pretty not easy. That's alright, though. Get ready to go again. 
These guys are 20 combo. We might want to get some dynamite on these guys, too. But do we have time to get some more dynamite? I guess we... Oh, we don't even have... Oh, my goodness. We don't even have support equipment. We definitely need more uh, infantry equipment, though. That would be good to get. In the meantime, let's grab some outside our battalions. That's why compliance goes a little bit faster than what it should be. Currently, at least. Look at that beautiful new dawn. I love it. Not bad. Actually, you must well do this now. Let's go and get a lot of infrastructure because the infrastructure is going to be so bad around here. Supply is going to be god awful. Since we're waiting anyway, so. There you go. There you go. Not bad. You might want to get one thing of planes up here, too. Maybe. And then boom, boom. Oh, we got a gun still. Very. Oh, yeah. Quite a bit. But actually, not, it's not too bad. We got three here. Ah, the battleship. Nice. No, a bug ship. Oh, we love it. That's probably not very good, honestly, but whatever. Yeah, it's not great. But at least we have some sort of capital ship. That's actually really good. Alright, are we ready? Oh, they have robots. Ooh. Some robots. Well, we have the power armor down here, so that should be okay with us. Oh, let's do this. Let's go in. Even if we can't pierce them, that's okay. Just got to encircle. That's all we got to do. Seed selection is good. Let's grab some of this. Improvise tools. There you go. Now we should be able to get them. Guys, if you could just please encircle them. Go there to there. Yeah, hopefully they won't be able to be us there. Wasteland Warfare. And Nomadic Technical Knowledge. Or what is this? Breaking Even More Monsters? What's this one? Lands of the Whistlers were inhabited, are inhabited by a large amount of nomads who move to place to place in order to avoid raiders now. But that Western pirates are no more. They came to our lands with a hope for permanent safety in exchange that offer knowledge of inner workings of motorized vehicles. It may come useful later on. Oh man, they're actually doing quite well against us in some areas here. How many divisions? Up to 12. Which is not good. Not good, but we'll see what happens. No, do this. Do this. Go around them. Go around them. Go around them. Go around them. The power armor do okay. Regular infantry probably won't, but that's alright. That's alright. And military high command. You know what? This stuff is all nice. I'm probably going to go and grab uh, this one. More decryption, why not? And what's over here? Resistance target goes down. More daily compliance. Civilian education seems really good for us. So, head on in. And then head on over there. This guy will definitely die. These guys will definitely die. So, we'll see what happens. Especially once we free up a few more divisions. Not bad, not great. Guys, you might want to go this way actually instead and then do that. This way, at least this infantry division does die as well. We've lost how many? Two. Nah, that's not too bad. Two twenty. Go up here, guys. And head on there. Support equipment. Nice. Grab some dynamite. Because now we gotta be making some of this stuff. Not much of it, but some of this stuff. And uh, guys from Hawaii again. Let's get some more stability. Nice. Man, we trade with Hawaii so often. I guess it makes sense. It makes sense, I guess. Cool. How are these guys not dying? We can't pierce each other. Huh. Very odd. But, hey, we're encircling quite a few guys here, so. We lost 254 versus 600 some. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, seriously, I don't understand this part. I really don't. But he's level 5 with skill 6 attack. That's not too bad. You guys are doing quite well. I want you guys to go up to the north, though. Take out all these VPs if you can. And you actually aren't connected there, so that's pretty good, too. Now, how are we doing with the ship stuff? We're doing okay here? Nice. Um, that looks relatively okay-ish. Technically, they should be cut off from the... Yeah, sort of cut off from the capital. And then we'll do some breaking even more monsters. Be good or you'll be killed. Why can't people understand this? I don't know. People just don't want to listen sometimes, you know? People just don't want to listen. All right. Got even more PP now. Do we want a core stuff? I don't know if we get free cores on later on, but... You know what? I never choose this one. Nine lives Hector. Let's use that one. Why not? Do we have any planes here at all? Yes? No? Yes? 30. Okay, it's not great, but we'll, we'll take them. We'll definitely take them. There you go. Now that should help us out. Oh my goodness, you got encircled? Are you kidding me, man? Yeah, you guys go there. Okay, seriously, guys. I, I don't understand. I don't want to force the attack, but Jesus Christ, this is stupid. This part is really stupid. Okay, at, the, at some point, you've got to have your armor cracked. You've got to have it cracked.
Well, if you want to do that, we'll just go there then. If you want to do that, you guys just go there. Work smarter, not harder. Smarter. Smarter. All right, and they're closing in on us. That's not good. Breaking even more monsters. And we'll do some whale meat. For thousands of years, people of Haida Gwaii have depended on whale meat. Nowadays, we probably survive without killing whales, but why? Well, monthly population seems very good for us. Come on, Prince Prince George. You're going to have to die. You're really just going to straight up have to die. You guys go down there, too. Kill. Oops. Kill those robots. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. Kill off them robotos. Man, we really could have used anti-tank. I, I forgot that they used robots up here. Come on. Oh, we cut them off. That's good, good, good. Hento del Sol join them. Kill them off. Please, just kill them off. Improvised tools is, are very nice. Let's get some basic tools next. It's fine. We can separate these guys around here. No, no, you guys go here. If you can, encircle them and kill them off. Now, that's smart to do. Civilian education is very good. Let's grab some citizen concern. Kill them off faster, faster, faster. Guys, please. I'll, I said this earlier. Let's go around them. Dynamite's nice. Get some anti-tank next. Dynamite. Very nice. Yeah, we have enough of that. There you go. Share the wealth. And for infantry, go ahead and do that. Do we have enough? We don't, but we're close. We're actually fairly close to having enough there. If you want to hold for now, that's okay. You don't need to actually attack there for now. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. I just want you to keep them in place. That's all I want you to do. Rebuilding the waste is very nice to do. Um, oh, Remo. How much more do we need to take? We take the capital. Oh, my goodness. These guys are not easy to take out. Fighting the Northeast is not very great. Guys, please, 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 please. Go, 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 go. Alright, we got more PP now, anyways. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at cores. Strike the pirates. Da -da -da. Call for unity. All the lands will be under us. Columbia United. We might get cores on them. I don't really want to spend PP then on cores, just in case. So, we're going to grab someone else, like aircraft companies. Because we can. Another division is good. Another light cruiser is also very good as well. And which we're going to do after whale meat, Ambra. Ambra is a solid, waxy, flammable substance of a dull gray or blackish color produced in the digestive system of sperm whales. Freshly produced ambergris has a marine fecal odor. It acquires a sweet, earthly scent as it goes, commonly likened to the fragrance of rubbing alcohol without the vaporous chemical astringency. Ambergris has been highly valued by perfumers of New Victoria as a fixative that allows the scent to endure much longer. Nice. So they're finally been encircled. Why did it take so long, guys? Why did it take so long? And these guys have been in circle too, which is good. But you have to capitalize. No, what? No! No! Why did you move? You ding dong! You dingus! You're causing us so many issues here. Just go up there, guys. Go, 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 go. Man, taking out this nation sucks. It really sucks. It's not the mod, mod's fault at all, it's just this nation sucks. I'm trying to capitulate them. Go, 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 go. And circle and destroy, and circle and destroy. We've lost. Eh, 500 versus 1,000. That's really not too bad. Now everyone over here should be starving for supplies now since we cut them off from the capital for realsies. And you're doing okay. We're doing A-OK-ish. -okay Guys, please go this way. Please. Getting vehicles would be pro probably pretty smart to do, but whatever. And these guys are almost done, which is nice. I could have just, you know, I guess pair dropped technically, but still. But still. No, no, go there, go there. Go around, go the long way. Don't let them get our organization. No, no, no. Alright, we're almost there. We're, well, they're half strength, which is nice. Um, who's here? Nobody? Okay, good. Alright, that took quite a while, but we got him. We definitely got him. A song from the front, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. We have maxed out war support and stability, so let's grab some political power. Why not? Alright, so who's next? The Hyde Confederation, we're doing well as. Bellingham, we could do them. Camlo. Um, how strong is Bellingham? Because I don't mind them just railing into our line. Oh, they're kind of fairly strong. They might naively invade us as well. I'd rather not take out Camel before we take out these guys. Camel definitely is not as strong as Bellingham. So, 
put you all down there, but not really. And we'll put you all down here too. Oh no! Actually, that's not too bad. Because mm. I do want them to try to bait bait them into attacking us. So, go right there. And you guys go right there. I want to cut that one off. Not bad. Uh, I'll take you guys out, actually. Special forces, that's fine. We'll put you under War Chief Kayang. And go right there, maybe. That'd be nice. We'll go to War these guys next and bait them into us. And then we'll take New Victoria. And then we'll take out Camlo. Ambra is very nice, though. And take Raffles, very good. Baleen. Baleen is a filter feeding system inside the mouths of baleen whales. To use baleen, or baleen, the whale first opens its mouth underwater to take in water. The whale then pushes water out, and animals such as krill are filtered by the baleen and remains the food source for the whale. We use baleen, usually referred to as whalebone, for making numerous items where flexibility and strength were required, including traditional baskets, back scratchers, collar stiffeners, buggy whips, parasol ribs, switches, crinoline, petticoats, and corset stays. It was commonly used to crease paper. Its flexibility kept it from damaging the paper. It was also occasionally used in cable-backed bows. Nice. So just in case, I think we'll just go with refined warfare. It seems like eventually, later on, we're probably going to get uh, something really cool here. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. We do get, oh, tribal robotics, tribal power armor. We need at least 10 civvies for that. Naval engineering, that's kind of cool. So we'll see what happens. I, I just don't know what's going to happen, so. Uh, light ships, max range goes down versus... Oh, uh, no, I'm not going to hurt it. Yeah, canoeies. That's fine. Cool. We do have gunships, but I don't want to use them yet. I want to save them just in case. Yeah, guys, you might want to head down here first. There you go. Timekeeper's nice. All right, so since we're down here, we could probably uh, give us a little bit more time. How many ships do they actually have? Uh, They have... Oh, they have a capital ship. They might be very strong. We'll see. have to wait and see what happens, though. No capital ship yet, which sucks. Our right, guys should be ready, so you guys are over here. You should actually be okay. Just go to Kung. And after you do that... But you're just going to stay right there. Nice. After that, more defense attacks off that entire army. Yes, sign us up. Oh, what are we missing here? Infantry equipment? Ah, it's getting slightly better, actually, so that's not too bad. Bailing. But if you guys can think of a good intelligence agency name, please let me know in the comments below. Look at all the stuff we have here. This is actually really cool. Is this part of the mod or? Let's go with the. Oh, there's no whale here, which kind of sucks, but okay, we'll go with that. So if we come up with a cool, interesting name for us in the northern parts of uh, the High Confederation of the Arctic Circle, please let me know in the comments below. But let's see what we can do here. They're not attacking us yet, which is fine. Let's cut ourselves down a little bit then. There you go. Hey, stonks. Very nice. Are they going to take us yet? Yes, they will. Cool. And then we'll take out New Victoria, because their navy is going to suck to fight. So we definitely probably want to get some more planes. That would be very, 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 very incredibly helpful. In the meantime, we got that. Go ahead and come down to the coast and help guard little areas here. But we're going to go ahead and do some spermacet. Spermacet is a waxy substance found in the head cavities of the sperm whale and in smaller quantities in the oils of other whales. Spermaceti forms brilliant white crystals that are hard but oily to the touch, and are devoid of taste or smell, making it very useful as an ingredient in cosmetics, leatherworking, and lubricants. The substance was also used in making candles of a standard photometric value in the dressing of fabrics, and as a pharmaceutical excipient, especially in the ceramides and ointments. Uh, Candle power, a photometric unit defined in the UK Act of Parliament Metropolitan Gas Act of 1860 and adopted at the International Electrotechnical Conference of 1883, was based on the light produced by a pure spermaceti candle. Cool. Nice. This gauge ratio is not too bad either. Actually, do we have any upgrades for you yet? No. Uh, the bug chief? Yes. Uh, technically, yeah, we already had it one open, so I'm going to save it for now as well. We like the extra attack, but still. Let them just waste themselves on the line. We're doing. We haven't found any other ships either, which is good. Uh, we have. Ooh, actually. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, are we just in a battle? Everyone go and repair. Huh. Okay, sneaky dudes. Well, let's see. If we can do some of that too. All right, so we're building up some more roads. That's nice and all. Actually, we've built up a lot of roads. Do that, but let's build up some millies first. Uh, not up there. We'll build it over here, I guess. Maybe, perhaps. Is this cord? Yes, it is. That's good. Yeah, just let them keep struggling against us. They are really killing off their own equipment. So they have about 31 ships. Not bad. 26 of each in total. 
35,000 manpower, but stockpile-wise, we cannot exactly tell how much... Oh, they're out of infantry equipment, which is pretty good, actually. And to push over here, we'll definitely struggle a little bit, but that's fine, whatever. That's fine, whatever. And... Vehicle designers, cars, motorized, APCs... Um... I'll go Tim's tanks. Spermacep, step, and let's do some blubber. Blubber is a thick layer of vascularized adipose tissue under the skin of all whales, seals, and manatees. Blubber is an important part of the traditional diets of our people because of its high energy value and availability. Whaling largely targeted the collection of blubber. Whalers rendered it into oils and tripods or ladder or later into vats on factory ships. The oil could serve in the manufacture of soap, leather, and cosmetics. Whale oil was used in candles as wax and in oil, oil lamps as fuel. Nice. Very cool. We're going to do some of this too. The Art of Happening, not bad. Well, since we're going to be uh, doing some of this stuff, we must do that one and that one, and then probably this group and then that group too. Cool. All right, let them just waste all their infantry coming against us. Tlaloc's demise, he is gone. Goodbye, Tlaloc. As we build up some more millies. Nice. But there goes the matrons. And anything else? Oh, yeah, we definitely need some extra tank rifles too. There we go. We want to get some more naval stuff as well. It's not looking bad, it's just not looking great for us. More stuff here. I guess we'll come back down here. Oh, uh, well, I, even if we're barely using them, get greasers. We like greasers. And get some concentrated force. Yeah, we've definitely killed off how many? 500? 1,000. Nice. Plant cultivation is pretty good, too. Tribal stuff. Let's go down to this one. Soft occupation. I love the tribal stuff. It's so nice to have. If this is the case, and they're not really attacking us, I might take you two, actually. And we might just navally invade from Seshet to Cooper. Probably. That'd be nice. And go inspirational, too. There you go. Oh, actually, you have, you have another one, too. Alright. Well, what are we going to do? Mysterious Stranger. I might just save it later on as well. That's fine. If they want to keep attacking, that's fine with me. You might just be able to go right on. Oh, we need more naval supremacy, huh? Blubber. And we'll also do whale bones. Big bones. You'd be surprised how much can be done with really big bones. Nice. And I'll grab some of this too. More factory output. We like the factory output. And ship wise. Uh, still. Huh. Ah. Oh, they have a lot of guys there too, do they? Okay, maybe not Cooper then. It's a lot of dudes. Um, we'll instead do this and go from here to. Uh, technically, we go straight to Bellingham, but there's no uh, dockyard there. There's no docks anywhere here. Ah, uh, just keep it there for now. Cool. Head on over there, too. Are they still attacking us? Yes, I want to bait them in to attack us a little bit more, though. So take off one more division. That'd be fine. Because we will attack eventually. Ten divisions is quite a few to attack, though. Seven. Well, I thought we just got rid of one, so head on over here, too. That's fine. Cool. We've only killed off 1,400 of them, so... Yeah, attacking right there is not going to be great. But if we send a spy over, that might do okay for us. To figure out how much they have or what they have over here, so. We really wanted to. We could send another one over because we're winning very nicely. Anyways, I'd rather have a little bit more, just a little bit more of a struggle. All right, not bad. How many caps do we have? We could hunt some more whale stuff, too. Ooh, we have 200 some. That's not bad. How's compliance doing? We're doing very well in compliance and such. Very, very well. Alright, they're still baited to attacking us, which is good. But not nearly enough. Whale bones are very nice. Gifts of the whales. The products whaling provides allows us to have living standards much higher than almost anywhere else in the wastes. Due to this, whales are very, almost venerated by our people. But just to be clear, we will never stop killing them. Nice, just like the other side, we'll merge them all into one big old idea. Which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I'll see you guys over here this time. That's fine with me. Alright, no drinkers. Very cool. Diplomatic training, and let's grab some anti-partisan stuff so we can get another guy over here, too. Now, we can't exactly see what they have over here, which kind of sucks, but that's alright. Four, let them... Uh, they're still going to attack us, maybe? Yes? Yes? Yeah, that's fine. Do that, too. Cool. I mean, we could try this. It's probably not going to go very well. Yeah, that's a lot of divisions in there, but let's at least see how many divisions they do have. Oh, there they are. They have about 11. Wow! That's a lot of dudes! That's a whole lot of dudes! But are there any ports around here we could possibly invade? Bellingham itself? No? Oh, that would not be very good to invade and not get any single port. That would be very sucky. Rapid deployment? Oh, 
Um, we're putting up actually a really good fight. Um, at least in my opinion, a very, very good fight. So, that's fine if we didn't make it. That's totally fine. Things happen. So, after we do Gifts of the Whale, I think we'll just end the episode. And then, I'm going to do this a little more off screen so we can get to where we need to go. But if you enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we have almost killed off Bellingham. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.